The Seven Wonders of the Ancient World. Far nicer, I suspect, than the Seven Wonders of the Modern World, whatever they might be. West Edmonton Mall. But the Seven Wonders of the Ancient World. I would sure admire them if I was sure what they were. Um, there's the Great Pyramid, right? Yeah. Um, there was a lighthouse somewhere. A hanging Gardens of Babylon. Uh, some other things that were cool. And, of course, the Temple of Artemis at Ephesus. I gather this, by the way, was the Greek temple to end all Greek temples, you know, those shining rows of pillars and the architrave, I love the word architrave, and the pediment, and doubtless a great big statue of the goddess of the sort that they had in the Parthenon until the Turks sort of accidentally on purpose blew it up. But I say I gather because the Temple of Artemis is no longer there. And you won't be surprised to hear, if you know anything about human beings and the way they behave, it was burned down in an act not merely of folly, but of deliberate arson by a guy who wanted to be famous. That's right, we didn't invent celebrity culture. On July 21st, 356 BC, somebody called Herostratus set fire to the wooden roof beams. And yes, if you're wondering how do you burn down a stone temple, the answer is that there are wooden structural elements because, of course, as you know, stone is very strong under compression but weak under tension, which means if you span long things, it'll crack from below and fall upon your miscalculating head bone. So, Herostratus burned it down in order to become famous for having been an idiot, and he succeeded. In fact, we have the term Herostratic fame, which is used by pedantic people like me who give discourses on the structural features of stone to mean the kind of fame you get for being famous for having done something wicked in order to become famous. Uh, by the way, he was sentenced to death for this with a provision that nobody should mention his name, but even in the absence of Twitter or Google, somebody did mention his name and thus he achieved fame. This is not the first misfortune the temple had had. It actually was destroyed by a flood sometime around the 7th century BC and it was rebuilt with the aid of Croesus who gave rise to the phrase, Rich as Croesus, which for my money is fame you'd rather have than the Herostratic kind. And it really became the seventh wonder of the world after it was rebuilt again, after being burned down, and it stood for centuries, and then the Goths came along and they trashed it so thoroughly that it was never rebuilt. Speaking of Herostratic fame, right, the, the Goths became infamous for their capacity to destroy things they didn't understand, and thus they became a byword for villainy, until of course in the modern world people started becoming proud to be Goths again. So, so the entire modern world is going to experience Herostratic fame, and much good may it do us. Because if you want to know what the Temple of Artemis looked like, there are Various attempts that have been made to reconstruct it. People still go and visit the ruins, but there are also places where people have built what they think it would have been like. And I have to ask you this question. Do you think, 2,000 or more years from today, that anybody will rebuild anything in which we took such pride, from the CN Tower to the West Edmonton Mall to that hideous glass pyramid that stands by the Louvre? That is why I say you know, our entire modern era enjoys herostratic fame. But my money is still on the seven wonders of the ancient world. Now I've got to go look up and find out what they are. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.